Hello, I'm William DeLong here with Motorsports Lane RVs. I'm going to give you a tour of the beautiful Redwood 31 SL. This is one of the shorter high-end fifth wheels you're going to find out there, which a lot of people really like. Uh, comes in at 34 feet 9 inches total length, but still has all the great features that a Redwood offers just in a smaller package, which uh, is great if uh, you're looking to get in some tighter locations and do some camping. Um, this particular trailer comes in at a uh, dry weight of 14,000 pounds, so that's reasonable. Most uh, three-quarter tons and certainly one tons would have no problem pulling this along, but you would need something diesel for sure. Um, right here you can see an enormous uh, pass-through storage. What really impresses me with this on the shorter trailer is they haven't given up that space. A lot of 35-foot uh, fifth wheels, this area starts to get pretty small. You've got beautiful uh, wood paneling, uh, ceiling to this, rubberized floor so things don't slide around. Um, just done a fantastic job with it. You've got the, uh, the netted storage compartments here. Um, just really second to none. This is one of your propane tanks. This is a uh, seven and a half gallon or 30 pound propane tank. You have one on the other side too. So that should give you plenty of propane for uh, weeks and weeks of camping. Coming around the front side here, you got some definite wow factor with this. Uh, you got the LED lights up top. You've got them down here for helping you to hook up to your, uh, to your uh, fifth wheel hitch. You have a uh, uh, Rotoflex uh, rubber uh, square piece in between the, the metal here and your kingpin, which helps uh, just absorb some of that chucking you might get with a fifth wheel, which can uh, kind of push your truck around. So it's nice to help dampen all of that. This is prepped for a generator. We take a 5,500 watt generator. It's all wired so that you can, uh, you know, once you have the generator installed, it's all set up to push a button inside the starter. That really keeps the, the uh, price down on installing a generator if you want to go that way. Beautiful paint job on this too. Um, these are not decals here. This is all painted. And um, what that does is gives you a long life of the trailer looking its best. You're not going to have fading issues and things like that. This is a automotive style type uh, paint job on it. It takes them about a week or a week and a half to paint this trailer. Moving around this side, we got the other propane tank. Again, seven and a half gallon or a 30 pound propane tank. And then right here, this is uh, the door to your uh, control panel for the auto level. It's a six point hydraulic auto level system. So you've got six jacks that come down to uh, automatically level out the trailer. One of the really neat features with this, aside from the obvious being it's auto leveling the trailer, is when you come back to hook your truck up to it, it will remember what level the front and the kingpin was at so that um, you push that button, it brings it right back to that level you left it at so you can just back right into it. Makes it real easy to hook up to then. And here's the other side of the storage compartment. You've got one inch thick insulated doors also, which is real nice. These aren't flimsy doors. These are really high quality. And uh, like I said, they've got one inch uh, block foam insulation in them too. So here's your, uh, your hookups for your water and cable and, and uh, your, your drain valves, all of that. It's all conveniently located here. You've already got the hose right here for uh, winterizing the trailer if you want to. You just put that right into the, the antifreeze bottle and you've got your hot water bypass here too. So very easy to winterize this trailer. Um, you've got black water flush option on this. All of your other inputs for satellite, cable, etc. You have uh, outside uh, hot and cold water here for a shower or garden hose type device, which they uh, give you there. It's a accordion style garden hose. One of the really unique things with this trailer, it's got a uh, fresh water tank of 104 gallons. That's pretty much what your toy haulers are going to have out there. So a lot of fresh water on this. You can be uh, off the beaten path for quite a while and uh, not worry about going through your water. Coming around the side here, you've got a 40,000 BTU furnace right here, then a 12 gallon uh, DSA, DSI hot water heater. There you see another one of the uh, hydraulic jacks. You've got hydraulic slides on this trailer. One of the real nice benefits to having hydraulic uh, slides are when they are out or when they're in, they hold that pressure against the seals at about 400 pounds per square inch. When you have electric slide outs, they can tend to creep back and forth a little bit, which um, you don't want that happening where you've got that seal put together. So really nice to have the uh, hydraulic uh, slides on this. 
This trailer has 16 inch aluminum wheels with G rated tires, um, not the E rated tires, which can be a little uh, less reliable. These are pretty heavy duty tires, which is, uh, just gives you that peace of mind when you're traveling. Another beautiful shot of the paint job, really smooth line. Some of the nicest paint jobs I've seen on a trailer right here. You don't feel any transition from one color to the next. Beautiful job. Coming around the back side here, this may just look like a nice looking back to you, but it's actually got a feature to it. Uh, you need to understand it. The way this drops in like this across the whole back creates a uh, essentially a low pressure uh, setup so that it, the, the air from driving down the road actually helps to push the trailer along. It's been estimated that that'll save you about two to three miles per gallon, uh, just having that feature alone, plus the, uh, the aerodynamic front cap that we saw. Um, You've got a uh, two inch uh, receiver hitch on the back, generally intended for uh, bike racks and things like that. But uh, you know, certainly uh, if you stay within the, the weight limits of that, you could tow a small trailer behind this too. You've got this storage compartment here, which is, uh, you know, has nice gaskets around it to keep it waterproof, but uh, just a good place to put things like firewood or, or anything that uh, might be a little dirtier that you don't want to put in your main compartment. Beautiful uh, ladder here, nice aluminum ladder taking up to the top. It is a walk-on roof, which is nice. So if you need to go up there to check out uh, uh, things up on the roof, you can do that. So these uh, frameless windows here, they're double pane. And something that's uh, real nice about these, that, uh, aside from the beautiful look of them, they open like a, uh, a clamshell on the bottom. What you get there is uh, if you uh, leave to go to town and you left your windows open just to let some air come through and a thunderstorm comes through, you don't have the windows that slide all the way to the side and leave a whole section of your window exposed to the elements. With this, you get kind of a shingle effect. And if you get uh, you know, a downpour, the rain's gonna come and, and roll off of that and not get into the, the trailer, or at least not stand a good chance of getting in the trailer. You've got uh, power awning on this with uh, the LED lights on the back side of the roller, which gives a real nice look to it. And they've kept these up nice and high so your head's not gonna hit them when you walk underneath them. Uh, very nice design. Four steps into the trailer, not three. They probably could have gotten away without putting the four step on it. But again, they've really just uh, given all the attention to detail and uh, you know, really not sparing any expense on the trailer. With that, we'll head inside, take a look at uh, the inside of the Redwood. Beautiful inside. This has been one of the trademarks to uh, Redwood, just the quality fit and finish and overall just feel the inside of the trailer. Uh, I'll start in the back here, show you a few things. We got a real nice TV here. They didn't uh, go and put a no name TV in here to try to save money. They went ahead and put an LG TV. So a very nice uh, TV, JB JBL soundbar here. And this is a neat feature that kind of hides right in here. You got a desk that slides out. And not only that, you have this uh, top of the uh, desk that uh, um, goes up so you keep a laptop in there, or whatever you uh, would like to. And you have the fireplace. It's a 5100 BTU electric fireplace. Works kind of like a space heater. It runs off a thermostat too, so you can set that at whatever temperature you'd like, and it'll just help take the chill off if you don't want to go ahead and run the whole furnace system. You've got a pull-out sofa here, sleeper sofa, two real nice recliners. And um, in the kitchen and throughout the trailer, I want to point out these real nice hidden hinges. Um, the nice thing with that is, you know, they're residential style. When the door's closed, you don't see any of the, uh, any of the hardware on the outside. It's all hidden in, in, uh, in the cabinet itself. Beautiful sliding drawers here. This is a trademark of uh, Redwood also. I haven't seen anyone else that does such a nice job with the uh, drawers in the pantry. Plus in this particular uh, spot in the pantry, you've got an outlet in the back. So if you wanna plug in a toaster or a coffee maker, you can leave that sit here, slide in and out, and it'll still be plugged in. That's why they gave you a little extra room here. So beautiful setup there. This is a neat feature. You know, just again, trying to make the best use of all the space you can in a somewhat shorter high-end residential fifth wheel at 35 feet. This is a uh, cutting board and they've got this cut out in the board so that you can put the trash can down below that and, you know, wipe the, the refuge into that, which is really nice. 
In fact, there's a trash can there, so you can see how, how that works, just right down in the trash can. Beautiful, huh? I wish my kitchen had that. Uh, nice big sink, got all kinds of room in here. Residential style uh, faucet with the pull down spray nozzle. And you can leave one side uh, closed if you want, if you're trying to have as much uh, countertop space as you want. Got a uh, 12 cubic foot propane fed fridge here. This is basically the, one, of the, one of the biggest um, propane fed fridges you can get. It runs on electricity also, but if you're out camping and uh, you don't have hookups, you're dry camping, then you've got a fridge here that you can run off your propane system. Uh, table here, this has a, a leaf to it that you pull out and the whole table actually spins around too if you wanna have that run lengthwise. Continuing on here, a real nice set of blinds in the uh, Redwood trailers. You've got your day blinds, which as you can see, let through a little bit of light from outside, but still keep uh, the sun from just glaring through and give you a little bit of privacy too. Then you've got, uh, you just give these a little pull and they go back up. And then you've got your uh, night blind. This is, you know, blocks out light entirely. Nothing gets through this. Um, so you can use either one there. Beautiful use of uh, trim around the windows. Uh, this is actual real wood and uh, you know, just nicely done um, with the fit and finish is awesome. Uh, our values in this trailer are uh, uh, 40 R value in the ceiling and 38 in the floor. And then you've got uh, about R10 in the walls. You can only get so much in the walls are you know, two inches thick and um, you know, you just can't get more than R9 or 10. But uh, Insulated about as well, if not better, than any trailer I've seen out there. So uh, really set up for year-round uh, living, if you want. Uh, the AC system in this is pretty unique. It's got uh, what they call their Whisper Quiet AC system. You don't have the uh, AC sticking down out of the ceiling, which is typically your air return on the AC, which can be noisy. So what they've done here is they've kept the AC system up in the ceiling, where it's all insulated so it's not noisy and you've got your cold air returns at various spots in the ceiling spread out so that it's a it's a gentler flow of the air and it's just not so noisy so pretty uh pretty nice setup there behind here is uh just some extra you know spice racks storage area but you've got uh, your some of your controls up here this is where that generator's uh prepped through you've got your start and stop button your hour meter if you were to add a generator to this and we'll go ahead and, oh, before we head upstairs, you do have a central vac system here. So you just kick that when you've swept things over and it'll suck everything right in there. So um, pretty handy. And you also have the spots here that you can put the, the typical uh, central vac hose. So very nice. Head up front. And our way up through into the bedroom, we've got the bathroom here, as you can see. Real nice uh, single piece fiberglass uh, shower with the glass shower doors, nice porcelain toilet. You've got a uh, power roof vent fan there, medicine cabinets, solid surface countertop, real nice bathroom, plenty of room in there too. Beautiful bedroom here. Um, you've got the full bed slide out obviously, little uh, nightstands on either side to put you know, a bottle of water at night or or uh, put your book and whatever. And you've got a uh, beautiful walk-in closet here, nice doors with the, the wood accents on them. And you have uh, cedar lined shelving in the closet, which is very nice. A little hidden feature down here. They've given you a uh, actual little uh, safe. So you've got that there kind of hidden down on the floor. Just if you've got some special items you want to keep locked away. Nice TV, again, LG TV, not, uh, not sparing any money there by putting in no name brand. And um, yeah, that's about it, I think. Um, I'm sure I've missed some things about the trailer. It's got a lot to offer. If uh, you wanna come down and take a look, come down to Motorsportsland. I'm William DeLong, be happy to help you out. Thank you.